And okay, now the state in the corruption case against Zandile Kumete says she's guilty of conducting an enterprise through racketeering activities. State prosecutor Ashika Lokan says Gumede and her co accused unlawfully masterminded the fraud and corruption in the Durban solid waste tender process between December 2017 and July 2019. The charge reads as follows, that in that honor about the period December 2017 to July 2019, at or near Durban in the district of Durban, the accused, whilst managing or employed by or associated with the enterprise as defined above, unlawfully conducted or participated in the conduct directly or indirectly of such enterprise affairs through a pattern of racketeering activities, which includes the planned ongoing, continuous, repeated participation or involvement in the offences, including that of fraud and corruption, as set out, set forth in counts number 5 to 112, counts number 121 to 126, and counts number 127 to 128. Now, therefore, the accused are guilty of the crime of conducting and um, an enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activities. My colleague, senior reporter Spamant Lagoke, has been in court covering this story for us since this morning. He's joining us now live. This was the end of day one of those pre-trial proceedings. Spamant, what were the key things that came out uh, from, from this case so far? My understanding is that all the accused have pleaded not guilty to a number of charges under the racketeering uh, uh, matter and also fraud and corruption. Indeed, that is the only charge for now that the state or the prosecution has presented in court according to the reading of the indictment. Not to say it will be the only one once the reading of the indictment is done and dusted, no. But for now, that is the charge that has been presented in court. It's got so many counts. We are talking about in total, including all the charges which range from racketeering, the issue of fraud and corruption, we are looking at 2,973 counts in total. Now, we are still with we are still dealing with charge number one here, which is racketeering, and that's where the gist of the proceeding and the focus of the proceedings today was really the prosecutor going, you know, paragraph by paragraph, unpacking what the accused persons are alleged to have uh, done or benefited from. And uh, I'm going to take a walk and then just to go outside where Mamzandile Kumede is expected to go and address her, supporter, her supporters. We have seen her leaving. She is being driven outside the high court here in Deben. But so far, the state has really unpacked the racketeering charge, alleging that Zandile Kumede and some politicians, including officials and administrators, they were running an enterprise, you know, they were involved in an enterprise which ensured that in a way they decided to come together with a common purpose of saying there is a special project that needs to be undertaken. And that special project involves a number of companies that were selected allegedly by the politicians colluding with officials of the Eteguini Metro and they decided which business people and which companies are going to be given tenders and how much of those were going to be in return. Of course, the state is alleging that those politicians and municipal officials received kickbacks now and the name of the African National Congress in Eteguini region has also come up in court. The state alleges that the ANC in Eteguini region received about 100,000 from one of the businesses or companies that were given tenders at the Tegwini municipality. They are, according to the state, the beneficiaries of this 320 million rand tender or tenders rather, which are located within the depth and solid waste unit of the municipality. So that's what has been happening in court today. Let me be quick to add and say, you know, 
at some point you could tell that the judge was annoyed with the state prosecutor because the judge was of the view that there is no need to go all out and read paragraph by paragraph. The issue of the counts and the charges could be summarized according to her. She was saying, listen, let's summarize this because it will take long. Of course, the state prosecutor saying, well, she would prefer to be given time to go through each and every charge that is there, each and every count that is there. So that's where, that's where we are for now. The matter has been adjourned till tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Let me also tell you that when we come back, we'll still be dealing with just one charge, and that is racketeering. You are not talking about fraud and corruption charges that are expected also to be read out when the state prosecutor reads out that indictment again tomorrow. It could be that we'll be here at the Deppen High Court at least for the rest of the week if we go according to this pace that has been displayed today in court. And remember, the trial has not in a way started in terms of proceedings. Even though they've entered plea bargain, all of them have pleaded not guilty. But the trial and the proceedings will get underway in earnest probably by next year. Now, let's look at the number of possible dates that have been proposed for next year. Looking at the court roll and the schedule, we are looking at 6 to 24 March, 17 July to August 18, 2 October to 17 October, 6 November to 1 December. So those are the possible dates for next year's court roll and the court will have to sit and get underway with this trial here. So these are the supporters of Zandi Lekumete here who have come out in their numbers to show their continued support to her. Mama, and that they they want to know what is this trial all about, which is a kind of a common question, I guess, that supporters would uh, would be asking. Do we expect her to address uh, supporters shortly? Yes, indeed, we expect her to address her supporters any minute from now, and she has always addressed them, even though she will not address them for a very long time. She will thank them for their continued support to her and she will just ask some people to give a summary of what transpired in court. But earlier on she did tell ENCA that she was happy the matter is getting underway.